Hey, what's up, everyone? We're playing Bravely Second again. Let's just continue playing. We gotta talk to Barbarossa. And then we'll finish the side quest and have Here you are. And go to the old Sagitta. Ho ho! If it isn't the Swordmaster's favorite pupil! Captain Hayredden Barbarossa, man of the sea, and holder of the pirate Asteris. As Lieutenant Commander of the Eternian Black Blades, Barbarossa once came to blows with Idia aboard his haunted ship. Ever seeking adventure and romance at sea, he sailed the realm's oceans on the SS Funky Francisca with his ghostly crew. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Or should I say, the proud daughter of our illustrious Grand Marshal, eh? <laughs> Welcome aboard, me lady! <laughs> How about you just call me Idia and turn the volume down a bit? I'm actually here to ask about that song you were just singing. Was that the Grand Ship? Aye, so you know the song! <sighs> Unfortunately. Oh, it's a timeless classic. A tribute to all the brave men who've lived and died on the wide seas, left to us by a visionary virtuoso. That Archipella. He knew what it meant to be a man with dreams of adventure. A man among men, if ever there was one. Those lyrics you were singing, are those also written by Master Peller? Why, new lyrics written by the bard himself would be a discovery for the ages. You really are a fanatic, aren't you? Uh, uh, more or less. I was improvising a bit, trying to get at the heart of what old Peller felt, you see. Me mateys here, they tell me that it was like a dream to listen the first few times. But now, they want to die all over again. I know that's their way of saying that I've captured something real right here. <laughs> Those sentimental fools. Gee ha ha! Anyway, we're here on behalf of Rocka Peller. He's the grandson of the guy who composed that melody you're singing. He seems pretty troubled by you and Praline. Any idea why that might be? <laughs> that scurvy diva! She just had to go stir up trouble, eh? Scurvy diva? That's some way to talk about a former comrade in arms. I've got me mateys here. I don't need some prima donna who thinks she's better than me because she's got a gang of deluded fan lovers. She'd go around the Black Blades claiming that she did more than any of us, that she was the one pulling all the strings. Why, she'd even ask me what I was good for. After all, you're always drifting around on that stingy old dinghy of yours. When the Blades were disbanded, Oh, she took off solo, without looking back. And when I finally hear from her, it's this! A flyer for Praline's next concert. So, what's the problem? The diva of the battlefield, Praline a la mode, is set to cast a dazzling arise on the musical discovery of the century. What? I guess she means she'll breathe new life into it? It's one thing to set her sights on a classic like this and think she can just recycle it for her own gain. But that's not even the worst of it. Why, she means to take this timeless ode to the men of the sea and slap her silly sappy lyrics all over it. She'd make a mockery of a man's dreams, turn a soul-stirring sea shanty, into some sugar-spun confection of conceit! Why, I was so blinded with rage that I sailed straight to that color lad to demand that he take action! That's it! And you were probably roaring and shouting up a storm the same as you're doing now! In other words... Are you serious? <sighs> At least we've heard both sides of the story now. Praline wants to use the song for herself, but she's so painful to listen to that her message was totally lost on Peller. And Barbarossa doesn't want her to, but he shouts so loud that no one can hear him past the ringing in their ears. 
What a pair. Look, we're going to go and explain the situation to Rockapeller. Don't you let that girl crush a man's dream! I know what old Arca would have wanted. The proof's right here in... Oh, save your breath. The decision is Peller's, not mine. Just stay here on your boat until we return. And try to keep it down, will you? Okay, then... Back to Florum we go. Probably just gonna fast forward here because the journey back's a tiny bit boring. Okay, so here is where he should be. Let's give it a quick save. Bang, bang. Okay, let's head inside the cave here. I think Witherwood. Oh, we've been here before. This is where we have to go through last. Actually, I didn't really like this place. What's our encounters at? Let's just leave it at 100, honestly. I'm. I, the, the suggest is 42. I'm literally 45 to 47. I'll be fine if I don't grind here. If I was under leveled, then I wouldn't mind. But I just. I really kind of want to just get to the main quest here. And I have enough levels, so it's just not going to be a problem if I just don't fight anyone here. Yeah, there's another chest on the other side that I definitely want to grab, though, so we're definitely going to have to come back. Okay, let's just try to fly through this bad boy. Like I said, I've got, I've got a lot of game to play. Javis has before, but I've got a lot of game to play and not a crazy amount of time left. Once pharmacy school starts, it's kind of GG for me. This video is most, actually 100% going to probably come out while I'm in pharmacy school. Because I'm recording it during the summer, but I've recorded such a crazy amount in the past month or two. Um, I've still got basically, so I know this is probably like a little spoiler for some of y'all if you don't know. If, you, if, if anyone keeps up with this channel, I don't think anyone does. Um, I currently just started uploading Final Fantasy X. Just now. I just finished Final Fantasy III, so... I've got the entirety of Final Fantasy X to put up. That's going to be until basically the end of August. And, or, you know, around August. And then I've got to do the entirety of Bravely Default. After that, I have to start Bravely Second and come all the way up until... So, I'm probably going to be pretty deep in pharmacy school once this comes out. Alright, let's do the tent event. Shine forever, oh crystal, shine bright and shine strong. <laughs> you're in a good mood, you. What's that song you're singing? Oh, was I doing that out loud? Um, sorry. It's a famous song by Arcapeller. Shine forever, oh crystal. A song about crystals? Was he a follower of the crystal orthodoxy? Huh, w not that I know of. Perhaps the orthodoxy lent him its patronage and helped make his music famous around the world. Perhaps so. I have to say, though, I am surprised you guys are such fans of his work. I wouldn't say we're fans. Not like you, at least. It just so happened that we met his pupils and learned some stuff about him. It just so happened? I'm a huge fan, and even I haven't had the good fortune of meeting his pupils. It's all Praline's fault. We had to talk to those people to figure out how to defeat her. Yeah, her singing was something else. Talk about getting caught in the crossfire. Ah, that's the song anyway, from last game. by chance, we heard about a famous bard who defeated a siren with the power of song. Peller silences the siren from his... Incroyable! How do you know all these things? You wrote a song about it, of course. It became a cult classic. Both the Siren and Praline had the power to beguile others with their song, so we figured we might get some clues on how to defeat her by talking to Peller's pupils. That's right. Remember the very last pupil? His clue was the key. Oh, wait, wait, don't tell me. The most important thing is to have fun. Right, those were the words inscribed on the bard's baton. Once we found that, we were finally able to defeat Praline. Wait, you mean you actually touched the bard's baton? Oh, do you, do you still have it? I would give anything just to hold it. Please, please! Weren't you using it as a back scratcher for a while? Anya's really told you off for it. I don't remember. Where did we put that old thing? 
<laughs> but it's a modern day treasure. It wasn't like we needed it anymore. It was just a boring old stick. Tell me about that pirate, too, the one who's arguing with Praline. Oh, Captain Barbarossa. He was a member of the Black Blades with Praline. Second in command, no less. He'd known Master Kami Izumi for years and was his right hand man. He was always going on about the spirit of adventure. I wonder if he ever found that. Sasano O, was it? I don't know. I remember thinking he was looking in completely the wrong place. A man at the sea, looking for the spirit of adventure. No wonder he was entrusted with carrying on Peller's legacy. I don't think he was exactly entrusted with it. Wait, I just remembered. The baton! Hmm? What about it? I remember the last time I saw it. I used it to see if the potatoes were cooked through. That's, uh, creative use for it. So, what did you do with it afterwards? It's strange, I don't remember. But there was a really crunchy breadstick. Uh, let's not mention this to you. They destroyed it. <clears throat> okay, we move on then. Let's head deeper into here. Okay, more cake. Probably never end up using. Anything here? Nope. What are we at? 12 minutes? We're perfect. Okay, this chest. Not gonna need that much money once we hit the end of this chapter, but... Money is money. Blue chest, which we cannot get just yet. There's gotta be a shiny thing at the end of this. Yup. It's almost too obvious at this point which ones are gonna be chests, which ones are gonna be shinies. You can always tell. This is probably where we're going to be facing the boss. Go ahead and save the game. Bang, bang. Okay. Let's go in. Deep within a labyrinth of falling leaves The ruins of a once great fate Now looming before my face I fa 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 find myself rooted in place Hey. <sighs> Is this how you always do your, er, composing? Oh, so, 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 you return. But yes, the voice of eternity whispers directly into my heart, filling my soul with song. And what does the voice of eternity tell you now? Not a thing. So can you hear it or not? I could hear it when I had some peace and... Quiet! <laughs> well, sorry for the interruption. If we aren't bothering you too much by doing what you asked, we managed to find out what your two friends wanted. Did you now? By all means, la 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 la. So, in short, Miss Alamode wants to arrange my grandfather's song in her own style. You really didn't understand her, did you? Yes, I hadn't the slightest idea what she was trying to say. Her words seemed utterly devoid of any meaningful content. That's one way to say it. And you say that Captain Barbarossa has also taken an interest in my grandfather's song? Taken an interest? More like he's fallen head over heels in love with it. That's why he's against letting Praline remix it into something else. He says it would be an insult to your grandfather's legacy. That said, he may just be projecting his own feelings onto your grandfather. I wouldn't worry too much about... On the contrary, I cannot dismiss his claims so easily. Huh? The long-lost score of my grandfather's. It included a scrawled note in his own hand. Dedicated to all who understand the mysteries of the sea and the hearts of the men who sail it. Ah, oh, you had to complicate things again, didn't you? Was that note made public when the song was discovered? Yes, it was quite an event. Every detail of the discovery was announced. So Barbarossa must know about it too. 
I never heard. What sort of an... This diva of the battlefield, Praline a la mode. Hmm. She is as famous around the world today as my grandfather was in his own time. Personally, I have no objection to her making an arrangement of my grandfather's song to add to her repertoire. But if you agree to that... I would be disregarding the feelings of a man who understands my grandpa Arca's wishes perhaps better than any other. Miss Idia, would you mind terribly if I erupted in song for just a moment? Uh, if you must. Two wishes, one me me me, tell me what... Such is his plea! Um, Idia? <clears throat> Nothing. Praline's arrangement is probably what her fans, pretty much everyone in the world, want to hear. Who are we to oppose that? And yet, we know what Archipella wanted, and Praline isn't it. Not even close. So, do we refuse her and honor the Bard's wishes? What's the right answer? What advice should I give Raka? So, I personally think, um, you can make a remix and at the same time follow the wishes of the guy. It's pretty easy to just say, guys, this is the original song, he did not want to change it. Here is a remix. If you want to listen to the original, go here. If you want to listen to the remix, go here. Just let him know the remix is a changed version of it that he does not approve of. Not a hard concept. So, um... Praline deserves the right to the song. She does. Just change it. But just make sure to tell everyone it is a changed version. I think we'll listen to the original Praline if you want. Have the rights to the song. It's not that hard. I know that your grandfather was a great musician, and he left behind that note about his wishes. So some of his admirers will be up in arms when they hear what Praline has done to his masterpiece. Also, I want the pirate asterisk. But Praline is becoming as famous now as your grandfather was in his time. Which do you think the world cares about more? The wishes of a genius from long before their time? Or a new song by the biggest star alive? But his message! What of it? That message is no more than an albatross hanging around your neck! What? Haven't you always felt overshadowed by your grandfather's legacy? Look, I know how it feels. Idiot. So you didn't inherit his genius. His technical skill. His dedication. Or even just plain old passion for music. <laughs> gonna make him cry, bro. Idiot. That might be going a bit far. So cut that albatross loose. Send it flying with Praline's ridiculous arrangement of your grandfather's legacy. Oh, Miss Idiot! Huh? The song. What kind of bilge water are you babbling now, you scurvy witch? <laughs> you scurvy witch. Barbarossa? <laughs> Ha! I feared you might do something like this, so I had a few of me mates follow you. Aye, and good thing I did. Looks like this little girl didn't hear a word I said about what a man's dreams are worth. The gall. Ignoring the wishes of a true genius in favor of some airheaded pop princess? All she wants to do is take a classic and turn it into some dumb ditty that'll charm a few more men. And so what of it? He's got a point. No, so not really. You and that little runt feel you're overshadowed by your betters, eh? Stop! Don't make me laugh! If you want to be taken seriously, face their legacies head on! Put some blood, sweat, just, and tears into accomplishing just tell something. Tell them it's a remix. Own. It's not hard. But this sorry show, ye just turn tail on that legacy and run away like, from it. Just because she makes a remix of it doesn't mean his legacy is destroyed. It's you've run out of witty comebacks, I see, but you're still giving me that look. I'll do what your father and master would do and knock some real sense into your noggin. All right, let's go. Yes, I want. I want the pirate asterisk, so let's just fight. So, our party was for nothing, eh? Yep. Me, mateys, and I were... Okay, just fight, bro. Let's just fight. this little girl and her scurvy friends what a man's dreams are worth. Come... Just fight me, bro. Come on, let's get this over with. I ran away from home at 15 and took to the seas with a stolen galley. I braved waves great and small to reach the Sea of Corsairs. 
Hefting my axe on my shoulder, I battled my way to the top. I, I'm the only one here who can sing that song with the heart and spirit of one who's lived it. Okay, well that's what you should remix it for people who uh, didn't spend their lives on the sea. Okay, let's just go ahead and um, we should probably do some defaults first here. Let's play a little bit smart. Okay, that's fine as long as we're uh, defaulted because the D is going to basically counter them anyway. Okay, that's fine. Yes, yeah, so I hit Magnolia because then she'll counter you back and it's amazing. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's crawl out a Kirada. Let's get everyone topped off here. Want to make sure they're. Um, like Magnolia's tramples do. She just countered them. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, bring out some stomps. Let's go ahead and just stomp on the pirate first. And then uh, we'll move on to the main course here, which is Barbarossa. I don't know what is good against them. But I'm just going to guess Thunder. And then. Um, what is Needle? Physical. Let's do a mist. No, actually, what am I doing? Let's just let's just share just Thundara. Why not? Uh, yeah. Let's just let's just not overcomplicate things here. And do another Kirata here. Ouch. Okay, get everyone healed up. So now Magnolia is even going to do more damage. The Trample is going to get hit real hard. Okay, and our Death Pyre should be dead anytime soon. Okay. Ooh, okay, so Thunder is his weak point, I guess, correctly. Okay, can we just do the same thing? Stomp, trample. Yeah, let's do the exact same thing here. We need to speed it up. Just doing the exact same thing. Okay, so now we're going to be in a little bit of the red, but that's all right. Keep doing the same thing. Just keep using the Kiradas here. Oh, he's gonna hit a couple times here. Also hit a counter though. We're fine. Just keep healing up here. Yep. Just keep doing your work, boys. Keep doing your work. I can easy. I can still sing. <laughs> True. You might be crippled, but you can still sing. Fair enough. Now we got the pirate asterisk, and I'm tempted to change Magnolia into a pirate. I'm not gonna lie. What do pirates look like? Okay, I think Magnolia's highest. Yeah, favors axes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I want to change Magnolia. Uh, this is a tide we'd best not be fighting. Come on, crew! We're hoisting canvas! Oh my, he really was a most deafening man. But now we can give the girl our blessing to use my grandfather's song, and I can finally focus on my own works. I trust I can ask you to pass along the good word to Miss Alamode? I don't think that'll be necessary. Say what you will about her. Praline takes her success very seriously. Oh, could it be? You're giving little old me permission to dress up that dusty old tune as I see fit, are you? It's a remix. Honestly, it's probably not even copyright domain anymore. You it's so old. You were eavesdropping this whole time, weren't you? No need to play dumb. <laughs> It's what the world wants, and in turn, might even be what my grandfather wanted too. Do as you will with it, Miss Alamo. Oh, I know. Prepare your ears for a divine arrangement of diva rific proportions. diva rific It'll be the girliest grooving sensation of style ever to enter your ears. Ah, uh, if you say so. Lost already? I'm afraid so. It's like she's speaking another language. I am barely a few years your senior, Miss Idia. Yet you seem to understand her. Could it be that I am behind the times? Why don't you try catching Praline's next show? Mix in with the crowd. Hey, you might learn a thing or two. That's right. Forget all your worries. Throw your hands in the air. 
Throw my hands in the air? If the opportunity arises, I will be sure to Oh, that's not the right attitude. I want to see some real passion here. Let it roar up from the bottom of your soul! Play that fa fa funky music do 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 dude! Uh, is that more like it? Okay, and that side quest. That what that, that that particular side quest uh bored me a tiny bit i didn't think the premise of that was like, okay it was a fun it was honestly a fun premise but it just it was a tiny bit boring it was a fun premise it's just a lot of like walking back and forth and i just kind of wanted to get it done okay but now we can move on to the important things here let's go ahead and we got a lot of walking to do now we got to go all the way up to the old sagita which all the way up to Oh, also, quickly, I think I'm gonna change her from a sword master. Spells you cast will consume no MP for two turns. I don't think that's no MP. I don't think that's any good, honestly. Okay, I think I'm gonna change her to a. Okay, that's not really particularly good. Let's just change her to a pirate. And then uh, her abilities will stay the same for now. The only difference in her equipment, I'll have to give her axes here. Which I don't particularly have any right Remind now. Me. We'll do that later. We just won't do it right, 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 right now. Okay, where on the shore can we land here? We can go... Oh, but actually before we do that, we gotta go... Um, let's go inside... Okay, this is the cave we need to go into. Let's go ahead and give it a quick save here. And guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to look in the comments, support the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.